My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So today I'm making ham stroganoff. It's a really simple recipe with just everyday ingredients. So I've got some olive oil in my pan and I've added in my onions. And next, I'm going to add in two cups of cooked ham. And I am just going to let all of this saute together um, until the onions are nice and translucent and that ham is uh, nice and kind of golden brown. Okay, so now my ham is nice and brown and my onions are cooked through and translucent. Now I'm going to add some golden mushroom soup. Now, if you've never used it before, it's not a cream-based soup, as you can probably tell. It's a beef stock and tomato-based soup. So you're just gonna add in the soup, and then you're gonna stir it around until it is well combined and warm all the way through. Okay, so now that the mixture is thoroughly heated through, I'm just adding in some sour cream and you're gonna give it a good stir and then turn the heat off. Okay, so here's the ham stroganoff. It may not look like much, but it is absolutely delicious. So savory and rich. And it's a nice change from chicken stroganoff or beef stroganoff and I am serving mine over egg noodles and with some green beans. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Today I'm making cordon bleu pizza. So in my pot here, I have flour and butter and I've made a roux. I added some salt and now I'm adding in some milk, garlic and Parmesan cheese and I'm going to let that simmer and thicken up. So it's time to start assembling our flatbread. The original recipe called for um, a pizza crust, actually a homemade pizza crust, but I took the shortcut route and decided to use a flatbread instead. Um, so I've got the flatbread right here. Here are the toppings that I'm using chicken, ham, and green onion is what the original recipe called for. But I really like red onions on my pizza, so I sliced up some of um, red, some red onions to add. And then I have some pizza cheese here, and then here is the white sauce, so I'm gonna start putting everything together. Okay, I'm gonna start off by adding my white sauce. And of course, if you wanted to, you could use um, like a store-bought Alfredo sauce, um, either the kind in the refrigerated section or the jar kind would work just fine. So I'm just spreading that on. And now I'm going to add on my chicken, my ham, my green onions, and my cheese. Okay, so I am going to pop this in the oven and bake it until it's golden brown for about probably 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so here is our dinner. I ended up baking it for 20 minutes and here it is. It's a very hearty pizza and it's a nice change from traditional red sauce pizza. Gonna be serving it with a side salad Howard is going to be using this Thousand Island dressing, and then I am going to be using this Trader Joe's. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Today I'm making chicken cordon bleu casserole. This is a casserole that we really enjoy. So in my pan here, I have one block of cream cheese and some milk. To it, I'm going to add some Swiss cheese. And I'm also going to add in some dried minced onions. And I'm just gonna give this a good stir until that cheese has melted. Okay, my cheese is melted. Now I'm going to add in my cooked and chopped chicken 
and my cooked and chopped ham. And you're just gonna give this a good stir. Now, if you wanted to add in salt or any additional seasonings, feel free. We tried to watch our salt, so I'm not gonna add any additional salt because of the ham and the cheese is salty enough. So next, I'm going to add in my cooked penne. And I've drained it, but I didn't rinse it. So I'm just gonna add it in and give it a good stir and get everything all coated. Okay, so I've got everything all combined and I have it in a casserole dish. And now I'm just spreading some breadcrumbs on top. I've got some panko breadcrumbs mixed with some unsalted melted butter. And then after that, I'm just gonna pop it in the oven for about a uh, half an hour or until those breadcrumbs get nice and brown. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned, but I did make some modifications to this recipe and I'll link the original recipe, of course, but then I will add the modifications that I made. One of the modifications that I made was um, the amount of pasta that this recipe calls for. It calls for an entire pound, but I just used two cups of dried pasta. Everything else I kept the same, the ingredients that are called for, um, and it turns out so nice and creamy. With a pound of pasta, this recipe is really dry. So two cups of dried pasta works for our family. We have definitely enough for leftovers. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in the oven. Okay, so here's dinner. I let it bake for exactly 30 minutes and you can see how rich and creamy it is. It is so good, such a tasty little casserole. And then with it, I am just serving some green beans. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am making a ham and potato corn chowder today. So in my um, pot, I have some vegetable oil that I've warmed up. I've just added some onions to it and I'm adding some celery. I'm adding less celery than the recipe calls for because we're not huge fans of celery. The original recipe also calls for carrots, but we don't care for carrots really so I'm gonna leave them out of this recipe so I'm just gonna let these cook down until they're translucent translucent for about 10 minutes I guess okay so my onions and celery are nice and translucent what I've done is just added some flour I'm gonna stir this around and let it cook until the flour is is kind of brown Okay, so my veggie mixture is ready to go. And so now I'm going to add in my milk. And the recipe calls for either chicken broth or ham broth. And I happen to have some ham bouillon, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Just gonna drop it in. And then one packet flavors two cups of water, so I'm just adding in my water. Give it a quick little stir. And now I'm going to add in my potatoes and just let them cook until they're nice and tender for probably about 20 minutes or so. Okay, so my potatoes have softened and now what I'm adding is my ham. So there's a variation on the recipe that says you can fry up your ham. So that's what I did. I wanted to have some more flavor. And then I also added some chopped um, garlic, in, well not chopped, minced garlic in there as well. So I've just added that in. I'm gonna give it a stir. Now if you wanted to add additional seasoning, salt, etc., you can. I'm not because I feel like that ham is salty enough and that ham bouillon, so I'm not gonna add any additional salt to it. If you wanna add pepper or thyme or anything like that, you are more than welcome to. And now I'm gonna add in my corn. I happen to be using frozen corn. So I'm just gonna let this simmer until all of those flavors come together. So probably for about 20, 30 minutes or so. So here is the ham chowder. It is nice and thick and rich and hearty, so delicious. I hope you all enjoyed all the ham recipes in this series. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.